Hi guys, it's Taya and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I got this soap press at my house. If you'd like to know how I got from this to this, <laughs> then just keep on watching. Hi, I hope everyone's doing well. So I always start off my soap presses with a good deep condition and this one's kind of popular I think I've been doing it since I was like 16 22 now so it's tried and true you can trust me and you want to let this sit in for about 30 minutes you can do longer if you want so after I let that sit in my hair I wash and condition with this uh, it's cheap and it does what it needs to do, so I'll link it down below. I forgot to tell y'all, but make sure you wash your hair minimum of two times. I wash mine three times just because the conditioner is really oily. Um, and when you do a soap press, you obviously don't want any products in your hair. So I go ahead and blow dry each section of my hair. I like to do the tension method to start just so I can avoid as much breakage as possible and then I go ahead and brush through my hair while I'm blow drying it as you can see here. If anyone's wondering what the tension method is, it looks like this. You basically just blow dry your hair without brushing through it. I only do it for like three minutes though and then I go ahead and start brushing which you'll see. It's the same thing goes for straightening. I sectioned my hair into four and I started straightening. Self-explanatory, I guess. I cut a lot of it out because it's repetitive. Um, but I use the chase method mostly through my hair. You'll see me not use it because I'm lazy, but there's no reason for that. You don't know what the chase method is it looks like this all you do is put the brush or comb under your hair and then you follow the brush with the flat iron And this flat iron will be linked down below for you guys. Okay, so I'm done and it looks good, but of course I feel like I had to do a little bit more. Uh, so what I did was blow dry my hair after straightening it and I feel like this just made it fluffy, like bouncy. Like it I feel like it made a difference it probably didn't so if you care about heat damage then opt out on this one because it really is just unnecessary have these disrespectful flyaways and to fix that I use hairspray and spray it just a little bit 
kind of a little bit more like a lot <laughs> and spray it there and smooth it down and they should lay right down So the final step are my edges and I don't do anything crazy. I just want to make sure they look like they're supposed to be on my head when my hair is straight. So all you need to do is slick them back. So this is the end of the video. I already flipped my hair a million times, but you know, it looks good so I'm gonna just keep doing it but yeah if you guys like this video feel free to like comment and subscribe if you didn't like it please let me know what I can do to make it better and thank you guys so much for watching bye